management. Touching pneumothorax with closed trauma. Pressure must be relieved through neal decompression. It's a paramedical skill. It can be performed with thoracic decompression kit or a large bore needle. This would be an example of a large bore needle. So I'm gonna just break this down for you. 10 gauge would be recommended, 14 gauge, eh, okay, that's fine. It can work, but not everyone's built the same. Not everybody is, you know, the same size. So they can have issues there with muscle or fat. Fourth or fifth intercostal space laterally on the injured side. That's one route we can take to place a needle. The more classic route is a second intercostal space anteriorly at the midclavicular line on the injured side. So let's just break that one down real quick. Midclavicular line. I find my clavicle, I look midline. That's the midclavicular line. Then I have to go to the second intercostal space. Remember, intercostal space is when you feel, and sometimes you gotta push down hard to feel them. Again, there's a lot of muscle, a lot of fat in the chest. You wanna go feel down, really, you gotta press hard to feel sometimes. And you're gonna move rib by rib till we're there. It's the second intercostal space. Big pearl, we're gonna insert the needle on the top side of the rib to avoid hitting that neurovascular bundle, aka the nerves, which run along the bottom side of the rib. Here's our intercostal space, right? We want to go at the top. We don't want to go at the bottom. We want to the, uh, slide on the top side of the rib. Audible rush of air should be heard once the needle is placed, if you use the proper needle. And confirming the air escaping the pro space in a present attention to thorax. That kind of confirms what you're thinking the whole time. The patient should show signs of improvement on your monitor, and they should feel much better.